Okay, so we're going to cross a heterozygous tall with the short. Again, with solving genetics problems, first thing we want to do is figure out our alleles. So let's start with that. Now what we know is that tall is dominant. So we've got a capital T, and that's going to be tall. Short is recessive, so that'll be a lowercase t. Once we've got our alleles figured out, we need to understand who our parents are. In this case, anyway. So our parents are going to be a heterozygous tall, so capital T, lowercase t, crossed with a short. Well, we know what a short is. It's recessive, so it's going to be lowercase t, lowercase t. So we know our parents, and we know our alleles. We now can do our Punnett square. Do a quick Punnett square here together. Now, you're starting to get better at these. At any point, you can pause this video and try to do it on your own now. But yeah, create my Punnett square. Again, your parents, they are going to make their gametes. That's what's put onto the side or on top here. So this parent, we're going to split off. It's only got two possible gametes, big T and little t. This parent right here, we'll put it on the side. Again, only two possible gametes. Little t, little t. In fact, only one possible gamete, just the little t. All right, let's see what the predicted offspring will be. Again, if these two mated and perhaps we created a thousand offspring, this is what we would expect. First of all, one quarter of them would be this one right here. Uh, heterozygous, this one would be tall. Ooh, another quarter would be short. Oh, we got another quarter that's heterozygous, so therefore that's going to be 50% of them are going to be tall. Ooh, look at this. And 50% of them are going to be short. Very interesting. So when we've got a heterozygous tall and we cross it with a short or a homozygous recessive, we're going to get 50% of the offspring are going to be tall or display the dominant trait and 50% are going to be short or display the recessive trait. Now that's what we've done by doing alleles, parents, and punnet. Uh, we want to answer our question. So let's remind ourselves what the question is. Uh, I'll read it out here. So a pea plant that is tall is crossed with a pea plant that is short, which is the recessive trait. Tall is dominant to short. And the tall pea plant is heterozygous. We want to indicate all the possible genotypes for the parents. Well, that's my first question. So question 1A was the parents, well, they have to be. In fact, it's indicated. One of the parents is heterozygous, and the other is short, so therefore it can only be this one here. So that answers question 1A. Question 1B was uh, list all the possible offspring. Okay, so we'll do genotype and phenotype. Genotype of the offspring and phenotype. So we'll list both of those. Uh, we've got only, yeah, one possible, uh, no, sorry, two possible genotypes. There we go. They're either heterozygous, the offspring, or they are homozygous, recessive. Uh, they're either, half of them are going to be tall, and half of them are going to be short. Of course, all of those tall, they're, none of them are purebred tall. They're all heterozygous tall. But there we go. We've gone through a genetics uh, problem-solving question, basically using the technique where we do our alleles, figure those out, figure out who our parents are, do our Punnett square. Once we get our Punnett square, then we can actually answer our question. And there we go, there's the answer to this question. Okay, let's see what we do next.